think it's a really a marvelous thing, that visualization thing you did. Do mm -hmm. y'all you you read about this or hear this? That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park. Yeah, every night. And visualize seeing yourself as. Yeah, I would visualize. Uh, yeah, I would this visualize. This is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I w wanted or whatever. This and, was in uh, like 1987, 85? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, didn't and you... I had nothing at that time, so it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. Didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and I, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there, and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And, uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself like... It's difficult to describe the effect it's had in my life. I can only mention maybe a few words. Calm, clarity, a balance, and um, a times of recognition. And it's made a difference. It's an experience. God is an experience. I meditate. I was introduced to meditation about 15 years ago, and I meditate twice a day. And if I ever feel close to knowing what God is, it's somewhere in the boundary of those, that half-hour period, twice a day when I meditate.